Hey YouTube, welcome back to Love for Crypto. So I'm just going to bring up a topic uh, in regards to CNBC Fast Money uh, and their approach and uh, narrative is probably the best way of putting it. Uh, I mean, so a great reflection on this uh, as, a, as a recent sort of an occurrence. Uh, we've seen a couple of days ago, XRP shot up in value, good 20%. Um, you know, there's a lot of happy people within the community. Uh, and then CNBC Fast Money on their Twitter account sort of posted best gainers of the day. It may not have been best gainers, but you know, it was Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Ethereum Classic, Stell Lumens. No XRP. You know, outperforming every digital asset in, in the top fifth there by a long stretch. You know, there's a couple of others up there. Steam was up 8% on the day, if I recall rightly. Um, but I mean, but the purpose of, 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 of me making this video in particular is 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 all about uh, the, the powers that be. It's the best way to put it. It's mainstream media agenda. Uh, you know, there's a reason why this is happening. Uh, there was a lot of hate thrown at CNBC Fast Money Twitter account that day from the XRP community. You know, I was just kicking back with a popcorn, absolutely loving reading through the the feeds and the abuse probably the best way of putting it that CNBC fast money was receiving and so rightly so so rightly so it, it, the abuse was um, I mean they opened the door for it CNBC fast money um, you, there's one thing about this community they don't miss a trick and um, and, and we uh, re revolt in the masses you know if there's FUD and these particular people out there combating FUD and, and they have done for many years which is um, which is something you have got to appreciate in that respect but what what this entire video is about is about one purpose and one thing only and it's about me mainstream media agenda narrative purpose why are they doing it? there's a reason this is being done we just need to remember that uh, before i do move on with the video let's go back throughout the year and, and have a look at other other indications of mainstream media agenda you know, you like to see NBC money, you know, Fox News, you know, all, all, you know who they are. I don't need to, I don't need to go out and start specifically labelling um, corruption. I mean, so we go back to the first, the start of the year, I and mean, this is where it all started. Coin market cap. Oh, suddenly South Korean markets have been excluded from coin market cap. Uh, I'm sure there was a little brown envelope passed under the door at the um, at the at, at, at the head office at coin market cap. You know, all of a sudden, South Korean markets are excluded, uh, and it, it, it basically shattered 30% of XRP's value. Um, now, was that unfair? Yeah, of course it was. Did that cause panic? You better fucking bet it caused panic. And, and uh, these things don't happen for nothing. I mean, this is just one example. I mean, even the likes of Bill Gates, you can go back and find him in videos as far back as 2015, 16, actually praising Bitcoin as a technology. Yet you see him studying centre stage this year, saying that he'd go out and short it if he had the facilities to do so. You've got Warren Buffett, mastermind investor, highly credible, one of the greatest. It's, it's absolutely fair to say that. But, you know, he's out here calling Bitcoin, rat poison squared. Uh, he's never exactly been into his tech. You know, he's missed, missed out on Google, Amazon, Apple. Uh, I can actually recall him saying he wouldn't touch Amazon with a barge pole. Look how that backfired on Warren Buffet. But the, 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 the actual point of this video, of what I'm getting at, is this is happening for a specific reason. And of course, it's to put downward pressure on the markets. It's to cause FUD. It's, uh, it's, it's for the, you know, the retail investors to, to flock the positions. You know, some at a profit, some at a, a terrible loss. You know, shake out the weak hands. You know, give the, the big tree a shake, if you want to call it that. Now... You've got to look at what's been happening this year. You know, we're talking about institutional ecosystems being built and designed. You know, you've got JP Morgan, you've got City, you've got City Group, you've got Batch. You know, Intercontinental Exchange, and, and these are big, big players in the financial industry. In fact, they are key integral players, enable for enabling for the growth and for the the adoption of cryptos to become mainstream. Um, assets. I, I'm not saying that they're not mainstream. You, you, you'd probably be, you'd probably be shocked to, to hear that you're probably in in the 1.5 percent 
of of global participants in crypto. I mean, look at the headroom for growth in that that factor alone. So obviously, CNBC money have clearly it's basically it's basically media blackout of XRP. You know, you always hear Bitcoin. You always, I mean, Intercontinental Exchange are saying Bitcoin could be the first world reserve. You know, that's a statement from themselves. Bitcoin, 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 Bitcoin. That's all you hear is Bitcoin. Now, whether that's because people can relatively um, relate to the technology blockchain, uh, you know, obviously it was the forefounder of, of the revolution. Oh, in fact, I'm going to retreat, retract that statement. It's definitely secret service development. You know, there's, there's clear documentation to, to, um, to basically back up my, the statement I've just made in that respect. But you're not hearing anything about XRP. Now, which is the key digital asset that is driving utility worldwide, that is going to make a revolutional stance in the financial markets as a financial tool? You know, his aim is not to replace fiat in any way. Uh, that's the narrative at the moment. It's it enable fiat to be able to be moved around the world at lightning pace by using such digital assets. But again, you know, Bitcoin is a store of value. It's not fulfilling a utility role. It can't do it. You know, when we go back to December, transaction cost was $50 for the transaction. You may well have used MoneyGram or Western Union and probably got a better exchange rate and a better... Uh, <laughs> Possibly a better, a better satisfaction than using Bitcoin. You know, there was there was backlogs. You know, the the miners just exploded the fees in the centralized manner that Bitcoin has become. Is probably the best way of putting it. But again, keeping on track of the video, you never hear nothing about Ripple or XRP no more. There's complete media blackout, and I believe that is because XRP is the true, the true digital asset that people have got their eyes on. The true wait and see approach, you know, when X-Rapid goes live, big money players will finally be able to see what instinctive value is being created from the X-Rapid product, basically using XRP as that bridge um, in, in, um, in Forex, uh, you know, whether that's payments, settlements. Yeah, I mean, we could even go into derivatives and treasury. Um, but, you know, let's just keep it on track of the video again. The, the, the purpose of what I'm saying is we are purposely, purposely being eluded away from XRP. You know, it's look over here, don't look over here. If you're in the XRP community, you follow them, you know exactly where XRP are, who they're in bed with, they're in, in relations with Federal Reserve, with the IMF, with 30, 40 to 50 central banks. You know, all the top money processors, CGI, SAP, uh, the list goes on. And, and it's it's every single one of these players that can enable Ripple to become that mass adopted asset for for global global transactions, payment flows. It, it really is. It is a revolution. We all, we all know for a fact it is a fucking revolution. It is the biggest financial revolution. I mean, I, I don't even know how far back I can go back with that statement, but it will be the greatest financial revolution to have ever stepped foot and walk the planet itself. Um, it really will be. And, and, and again, it's all part of that internet of value, interoperability. But don't get so mad when you see seeing CNBC completely exclude XRP from, from their viewers. You know, hiding it from the public. That's exactly what they are doing. They do not want the masses... You know, look, we're, we're receiving information from not the best of, of media outlets. You know, you, you've got your Coin Telegraph, you know, Coin Desk, all these, you know, they, they're not full on. I mean, yeah, they've been well entrenched in this uh, environment for a good few years, but they haven't got the reach of CNBC, Fox News. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm just I'm just listing American TV shows here, obviously. You know, I'm talking about this worldwide. You, you go to a narrative in different countries, Japan where they're probably pro uh, XRP, it might be a different narrative. But let's just let's be realistic here. The US economy is by far the greatest in respect of wealth, um, investment opportunities. You, you, if you make it in America, you make it in the world, is what they say. But what I'm trying to say to you is there is a, a complete blackout of XRP in mainstream media. I mean, you look back in December, 
and he was all over the show and he was pumping Ripple out everywhere and he was showing you how to buy it, showing you how to sell it. Uh, and now we've had this downward pressure uh, from the mainstream media, to, uh, mainstream media uh, narrative and he's applied that downward pressure for one reason only, it's for big boys to fill the bags and he can't let the cat out of the bag just yet. It's probably the best way of saying it. We've got X Rapid coming soon. We've got a swell with Bill Clinton speaking there. You know, Mr. Freemason Bill Clinton. You know, he would have guessed it, eh? Um, but just don't be so angry. Yeah, it could be a blessing in disguise, this is what's happening. I mean, the markets have been saturated down to a point where the, the saturation levels are non-existent no more. You know, it's, it's, it's been turned down to its base, to its bottom. And it's onwards and upwards. And believe me, when X Rapid goes live, live, and when the big boys have, 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 have got the bags full, the same way the, the media have played down these markets, they will they will inflate them the exact same way. Oh, believe me, Ripple will be plastered across all of the TV programmes as this revolutional product that has come out. It'll be plastered everywhere. But for the time being, don't be so distasteful about what's happening. And just remember the end game, you know, mainstream media is being used as a tool to serve a narrative at the moment. And they will use that same mainstream media to, to serve the narrative of when the markets increase and it's all to come. That was just a little bit for you, boys and girls.